Now, in defiance of the Justice Department's uh, crackdown on marijuana, the city of San Francisco is retroactively wiping out the convictions of thousands of people caught using pot. Now, uh, this is uh, The Hill reporting. San Francisco District Attorney General George Gascon announced a move on Wednesday and said that thousands of misdemeanor and felony convictions going back decades will be expunged or reduced. So now think about that, right? So there are a lot of people that end up getting arrested for nonviolent crimes, the crime of possessing a little bit of marijuana. These people end up going into the system and it hurts the, 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 them for the rest of their lives. They can't get on a lot of social assistance. Oh, look, you have a drug charge. Can't help you there. Can't get on uh, anything like that. Uh, you can't get on housing assistance, food assistance, anything like that. And, oh, oh, look at that. You have a drug conviction. You can't get a job. So these people are basically in no-win situations. Can't get a job. Can't get any help. How are you supposed to live your life, right? And this is basically from the just a crime of possessing a plant. So now... Gaskin uh, of San Francisco comes out and says, I don't want this to ruin people's lives anymore. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go back and we're going to retroactively get rid of these convictions, misdemeanor and felony convictions back to decades. That is awesome. Now, Gaskin said on Wednesday that more than 3,000 cases dating back to 1975 will be dismissed and sealed. Now, other cities uh, across the state are also doing this same thing, including Oakland, where Assemblyman Rob Bonta has introduced a bill to the state assembly to allow automatic expungement or reduction of a prior cannabis conviction. The Drug Policy Alliance estimates that at least 5,000 people have applied for the marijuana convictions to be expunged since Proposition 64 was passed in the state. So, again, think about that. You're giving people a new start, a fresh start, so they can go back into society, so they can go back and work, uh, and they can go and, and finally live their lives. This is excellent news. And of course, this all has to do uh, with the legalization of marijuana in California. This needs to be a national thing. Now, I said before uh, that marijuana, I believe, is going to be legalized within 10 years. I think I said that about two, three years ago. <laughs> So I think we're still on track. California is the seventh largest economy uh, in, in, in the world. If it were its own country, it would be the seventh largest economy in the world. So they have a pretty big impact. And now that California has legalized marijuana, the dominoes. I mean, think about it this way, right? This industry is now, yes, it's an industry that is now making money. You even have Republicans that are now being paid by the marijuana industry suddenly changing their tune. Oh, hey, look, uh, pot, not so bad. Uh, and let me give you the numbers on why they would come to that position. California's legal marijuana industry is booming and expected to sell 1 million pounds of the drug within the first year. Uh, some state officials say that after taxes are, taxes are levied, the cost of a pound of marijuana will settle at $4,600. And they've received, of course, already millions and millions of dollars in sales this year. So here we go. <laughs> we have uh, marijuana that's actually making people money. And of course, look, our system, as flawed as it is, actually kind of works in favor of marijuana, getting it entrenched as a protected industry. So now you'll have companies that will donate to politicians and politicians that will start seeing their donations increase and think, hey, you know what, weed, not so bad. I think I'm going to vote in favor of marijuana because now I'm getting paid. And that could spread to the national level. And we could see this change. I mean, again, ever since Washington and Colorado, we've seen a number of states legalize marijuana. I believe uh, Vermont is the newest one to legalize recreational marijuana. The dominoes. They are falling one by one. And so, yes, within 10 years, I do believe we are going to see legal marijuana across the states. And this, uh, look, and if they could do this in every state where they have legalized marijuana, say, okay, look, uh, we're going to expunge your record. We're going to make sure that you can go back and, and, and live your life and work and, and seal these records. Wonderful. 
that not only is a blow to Jeff Sessions, of course, uh, and his anti pot crusade, it's also a big blow to private prisons, which, of course, house nonviolent drug offenders. So if the number of donations going to politicians, and this is a really weird part, uh, increase to a point above what they get from private, uh, private prison companies, well, then I think we've got an advantage and we could start putting away the private prison industry. No pun intended. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.